That's a shit attempt, isn't it? He's a bit lazy. Birch in here, I could use that. That's the one. And I ain't special when it comes to fire lighting. I make mistakes and I cheat just like everyone, and I cheat as well. But one thing I won't do is edit it off camera, I'll let you see it. Nobody amazing, that's for sure. <sighs> Certainly eating all into my time though, bearing in mind I'm only supposed to be out for an hour. So uh, just putting the camera on my knee. So uh, yeah, already mucking around with this little stove of mine. I've noticed that um best really to sort of like build it up with tinder, as you've seen there. And almost do like an upside down fire. I've also, no also noticed as well that there's a bigger opening than there is that side. So what I'm going to need to do is have to cut that out a bit more so I can feed fuel into it. Yeah, get me? But even if you turn it around it's only on that side but it's on the concave, it's on the convex side of the cup. Brew on, eh? Ain't got a lot of time. 
and what I've done, I've actually taken it off because when you put the cup into it, it just squashes all the material down and it doesn't get a lot of oxygen to it. So, uh, yeah, part of getting out here and playing around with it, I suppose. just after 7am um, great because I don't bump into anybody oh, dog didn't take her out yesterday with me because obviously I was going out training and um, her legs getting a bit achy when I bring her back from a run she gets a bit um, she gets a bit limpy so I'd rather sort of like not take her out on too many runs just take her out for walks and there she is on point as usual. <laughs> you know what I must say about, must say about Kit? Um, there's some great stuff out there. And don't get me wrong, I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get caught up on the hook sometimes as well with gear. Titanium this and all that. But you know what? Sometimes I forget how good some of the simpler stuff was. And... Um, you know, I'm just using a hexy, uh, you know, the actual hexy stove without the hexy in it, and it's it works sweet, doesn't it? You know, it, and we end up paying shed loads of money on other kit when the, the real basic stuff is right in front of us. And I'm not even saying like the one the stuff that you can make. I mean, that is just really. Yeah, I'm I'm a big I'm a big offender for it as well. You know, kit whore and all that as you do. I love going back to the real basic stuff as well and it's only done that because of this spending more time in my shed I think amazing well not amazing it's just you know it's what it is isn't it you know you just sort of I'm impressed Oi. I'm impressed so far that sounds like the water is a uh, Wicked. Talk about multi stove. That is like, you know, and I didn't even pay for this one. And Barney was saying on one of the groups on uh, Facebook or something that they some geezer was knocking them out for about two pound or something. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I've got bushcraft essentials and I've got this stove and that stove, but. Bloody hell. I need to wind my neck in, I think. And just stay with the basic stuff. Now, folks, you must get sick of my brews, my brew pictures and videos and all that. But I like to incorporate a brew. And it's funny, but every time I do something, I learn from it practically every time especially when I'm mucking around with something when I'm mucking around with something new it's just so great you know and it takes these experiences to you know these little trips and stuff to to see what works and what doesn't doesn't it dogs getting really excited I've got her on the lead at the moment there's a few um, there's a few uh, foxes dens up there and uh, I know what she's like she'll get a sniff they're fresh down there and she'll go down I know she will and I don't want that headache right now otherwise I'll have to put her in a sack and throw her in the river no bacon and egg this morning again only ready brick or ready brick only porridge raisins peanut butter powder and such like in there. Keep me going for the rest of the day. Do some chores at home.
Right, so I haven't got a lot of time left now. So what I'm going to do quickly is set up my rapid ridge line. I've got my Helicon text top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a few configurations, different ones. Um, and let you have a look. Um, a poncho really is just a smaller version of a tarp I suppose, obviously depending on the size. What I am impressed about these tarps is that I've now bought a second one and I might have mentioned it before that actually two of these packed up take up less, obviously depending on the size of your tarp, but my average OEX one this takes these two of these take up less space than the whole OEX tarp so that gives me the versatility of either just using one on its own two together or even using one as a waterproof and one you know to obviously sleep under so um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set up i haven't got a lot of time left only about 20 minutes i suppose i was mucking around too much with epoxy stove um so uh i'll crack on and just get on with it won't be much talking now but um you know there it is Yeah, I don't know if I recorded it, so I'm doing it again. So basically, as you can see there, 
prussics off the middle and prussics off there so I've got a little bit of space under there like so like a bit of a lean to pegged it out at the bottom and then obviously what I would do is take that pole out lash off um, a bit of Dyneema cord or something like that and lash it off a tree yeah you've seen the lean to that I've made normally what I just have going lengthways you see me using that on quite a few of the videos favours a fire most of the shelters favour a fire really and then the only other one I'm going to quickly show you is a plough point so pick a corner peg or a stick in there Right, and then same again, what I can do, so I can either hold me stick up there, to give me the height that way, yeah, ain't not dissimilar to the other one that I like actually, or the same again, I could just stick a cord in there and then put it up against the tree, so there's two simple ones. Yeah, so you've got the plough point. I don't know what the other one is, it doesn't matter. Plough point with an edge. That'll do, won't it? So there it is, folks. Right, thanks for watching. Only a quick one again, obviously, because we're not only allowed out for a short space of time. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, not really a towel from the shed or anything, or towels outdoors that the Jews, just me coming out for an hour or thereabouts. And um, I'm doing a few little bits, trying out me, uh, still continuing to try out my little stove with the hexi and the mug and so on and so forth. And then I thought I'd chuck in just a couple of extra bits with the uh, with that tarp, uh, poncho or helicon text. All right, so stay safe, folks, folks, ladies, gents. Um, stay safe. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Badges are on sale. Um, you can contact me through PayPal, uh, which is rosiesleed at gmail.com. Leave all your details there, and, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, podcast is still going. As I say, I'm going to try and aim to get a podcast out every Wednesday. Um, and there it is, folks. So, there's Katie sign out. See you on the flip side. Stay safe, everyone. Love you. Take care. All right, stay safe. I've got to get home now.